So, Fukushima and Hiro took the number three seeds uh, beaten in the final two years ago. Tomorrow, we'll play the number six seeds, Du Yue and Li Hin Wei. Uh, both semi-finals in two straight games. That is surprising to me. So our next semi-final here this evening is mixed doubles and Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. The European Games gold medalists are trying to end a 13-year wait for home players to reach an All-England final. They're up against Praveen Jordan and Melati Daiva Octavianti of Indonesia. Well, when we look at the mixed doubles draw, we can see a great diversity because, in fact, at quarter-final stage, there were seven different nationalities, but only five seeds, only two in the bottom half of the draw. Puvaranukro and Teorat Tanachai are already in the final, but will it be this pair, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith, who play against the Thai pair tomorrow? Or will it be the Indonesians? Praveen Jordan, a former All England champion, won in 2016 with Debbie Susanto, now playing with Milati Daiva Octavianti. Uh, they had a great end to last year, did the Indonesians. Uh, became the first non-Chinese pair to win a back-to-back -back Super Series or World Tour uh, level one to five events since Ahmad and Nasir four years earlier. So this is the second meeting, as you can see, between these two pairs. The first time they met was in the first round of the Korean Masters of the Korean Open. A Super 500 last year. Very, very close. 24, 22, 23, 21. And the English pair had three game points in the first game and two game points in the second game in Incheon in Korea. Henrik Boris Solson is our umpire. So I think the Indonesians won the toss and they've chosen to serve. So that means that Ellis and Smith have the choice of ends. And that could be quite crucial. Lauren Smith is 28 years of age, born in Carlisle in Cumbria. And she and her partner, currently number 12 on the world ranking, although they did spend two weeks at the end of June last year, or two years ago at number seven. Well, it's been 15 years since an English pair won this title. It's been 13 years since Anthony Clark and Donna Kellogg reached the final. Uh, but Anthony Clark will be using his experience because he will be on the coaching bench. Marcus Ellis is 30 years of age, born in Huddersfield, and uh, they've already won a title this year. That was the Thailand Masters, first ever European winners of the Thailand Masters in any discipline. Well, as you can see, uh, they beat Hoki and Nagahara in the first round, then beat the finalists from the last two years. In fact, the winners from two years ago, Watanabe and Higashino, and they beat them very convincingly. Had a thrilling quarter-final against the former world number twos, Chang. Uh, Tang Chung Man and Si Yung Sit, the two left handers, came from 17 20 down in the second game, saving three match points and closing it out on five straight points. An hour and 24 minutes, though, for their quarter final. Milati Diva Octavianti is 25 years of age, uh, born in Sorang in West Java. She and her partner are enjoying their 21st consecutive week at a career high of five. Praveen Jordan will turn 27 next month. And this is a second consecutive All England appearance for this pair. And it's a second consecutive semi-final. Praveen Jordan, as I was telling you, won the title here four years ago. In the first round, they beat Wang Chilin and Cheng Chi Ya. In the second round, they went to three games against Tang Kiang Ming and Lai Pei Jing, the left-hander from Malaysia. Quarter-final, they beat the number two seeds. That was a huge win for them. Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dong Ping coming from a game down. And they were quite comfortably up, incidentally, in the third game, 2016. And so only eventually won on their fourth match point. 
So Henrik Boas Olsen, as I was telling you, our umpire for this one and our service judge from the Netherlands. Well, the wait for the English fans to see home players in action on finals day has been going on for quite long enough. 13 years, it would be absolutely wonderful if Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith uh, could end that and get through to the final by winning this semi-final. But I have to say, Jordan and Octaviante are a class pair. Seven finals last year, winning three titles. Denmark Ladies and France and in two weeks. Add to that Ryan, the gold Ryan, medal Jordan, in Southeast Asian Games. And on my left, Lauren Schmidt and Marcus Ellis, England. Robin Jordan to serve to Marcus Ellis. Love all. Play. So the former champion, Praveen Jordan, will get this semi final underway. His partner, Malati Daiva Octavianti. Oh, what a, what a great one, one, first serve. One, one. English pair, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. Hey. Steve, my big concern is that when you look at the fact that Praveen Jordan and Octa the Ante oh. have only played mixed doubles here at the All England Championships, uh, we saw that they'd been to three games twice, but they've been on court for their three matches for a total of two hours, 33 minutes coming into this. For Marcus Ellis, who two, played uh, two quarterfinals yesterday, this is his seventh match in four days. Marcus Ellis has been on court for five hours, 51 minutes, and Lauren Smith, who's playing her sixth match in four days, has been on court for four hours and 10 minutes. And I wonder if the extra time on court, comparison to the Indonesians, could have its toll today. Or will they just be so hyped up and uh, given the opportunity? Yes, I think they will. Um, they might see it if the match is uh, going to a decider. But even then, if, if we're in a decider, that means that Ellis and Smith are doing well, and I think they will um, benefit from the support of the home crowd here. So the arena, the, um, the good play that we've seen the previous days are... Uh, definitely uh, helping uh, Ellison Smith. What's a little bit against them is that Jordan and, uh, and Octavianti, they're very much an uh, all or nothing pair. In all the tournaments that count to their world, oh, or not, not all the tournaments that count, but all the tournaments they've played the last Three, year, two. they've never lost in the semi final stage. It's all or nothing. Either they go to the final or they lose. Uh, in the quarterfinal or earlier. So it I seems think, like... I don't think that's quite right. They were in the semi-final of the All England last year. OK, yeah, but that tournament is uh, out of... Um, the world ranking. The world ranking. Yes, yeah. you're right. You're right. So um, it seems like when they settle in in the tournament, um, they do well. They're extremely dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. And especially Praveen Jordan. So. The service situation is going to be very, very important if Ellis and Smith can uh, get on top of that service situation and um, play below the tape, get um, so to the anti exposed, then there's a chance. No service fault called on Four, Praveen three. Jordan. Shuttle not struck below the 1.15 metre marker. And he's got a powerful smash there. The most powerful smash in mixed doubles, in four, my opinion. Four. Wow. Well, now you say that, actually, I probably wouldn't disagree with you, but I was immediately but, but thinking of two Chen Chinese, Chen Wei. Yeah, and, and Wang Yilu, who also um, mm. hits a proper smash. But they're so fast um, in their movement as well. 
great shot. Yeah. Okay. That's a great shot from Smith. Excellent. Yeah. Whole rally set up with that lovely little half court push from Lauren Smith. Five. Four. Brilliantly put away by Marcus Ellis. It's going to be a huge fight to get the control of uh, the rallies. Previn, get ready. Five, four. Six, four. And look how he moved forward straight yeah. afterwards. Yeah. That was well taken by Smith. Seven, four. Serves over. Yeah, not such a good idea. Oh. <laughs> That's a great return of the flick zone. Five, seven. The only racket action. Yeah. That's sheer physical power, isn't it? And great timing. to lift to uh, Praveen Jordan, make sure that the shuttle comes uh, down from Nine, an altitude five. so that uh, it's more difficult to get the right timing. Here it is, and you can defend. It's a little bit lucky that um, he misses the follow-up, but perhaps he overestimated the uh, possibility there on that follow-up. Oh, it's just long. Over. Well, she's seen the Six, shuttle very nine. well because that was a great interception. Hey. Hey. Yeah, it's a little bit Seven, dangerous to take nine. it that late and try and play yeah. cross court. Yeah. It's these running points, quick points. What has it taken? Eight, 30 seconds? Nine. Yeah. Three quick points. That, that's what they've got to avoid, Ellis and, um, and language, because... Or well, even Ellis and Smith. Exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be unfair teams. <laughs> <laughs> no, took it too late there as well. They've had a very good start, but the last Nine, couple of minutes, four. as you've point, rightly pointed out, Steen, they've just been 
Well, I don't know what they've been thinking about. But they haven't kept the intensity. Nine all. Well played by yeah. the Indonesians. Very well played. He's not lifting voluntarily. Ten, nine. Green Jordan. So five straight points for the Indonesians. That six straight points nine, into the mid-game interval ball. with a two-point advantage, having been 5-9 down. Well, a good comeback by Jordan and Octa Bianti. Novo Wudianto, their coach. Really staying on it. Do the odd chance where you try and take the red off with it. I also yeah. think her serve's not that tight. Sometimes you just yeah. put some pace in it yeah. and then bank it down the sides. There's one where you bang it at him if you want to, especially if you lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. But we're doing every rally. 20 seconds. Just getting past that first one. 20 ball. seconds. Chancellor Clark, half of the last week's doubles pair from England in the All Play. England final in 2007 with Donna Kellogg, lost to Jingbo and Gao Ling. Turn of serve. 10, 11. Well, she was saying in the interval there, wasn't she, Lauren Smith, that Octaviante's serve isn't that tight and that they should be able to put a bit of pace on the return. Yeah, that's good. Uh, they talk too fast for my um, English. I can't really get what they're saying. Excellent play. What a good well rally. Brilliant rally. He hits a nice smash himself, Marcus Ellis. Wonderful take of the third shot from Lauren Smith. 12, it's a lot required of uh, Lauren Smith because when Octavianti is targeting the tape, she's got to be there on top of it. But then suddenly we'll see, uh, in my opinion, that. Octaviante is trying to push it just five, ten Twelve, centimeters four. past uh, Lauren Smith, and then she's going to let it pass to um, you need a wipe? to Mark Sellis. So he uh, he can uh, control that shot. Twelve. Oh. So very important that she judges the situation correctly.
Good serve. Oh, great play. Just super. And that was something that they discussed because he was pointing directly at Nova Vidianzo on the coaching chair. Beautiful drop shot. Disguise. Yeah. That's the one you told me to hit, boss. Yes. down his smash for Ravine Jordan. It's not only the power, it's the angle that he can produce. Exactly. Had hang time in the air there, didn't he? Yeah. Just seemed to leap in the air and stay in the air to find gravity. Anything out of that, Marcus Ellis? No. I'm a Can I call us one of the uh, best umpires in Denmark? Yeah, I, think I will take care of that. He doesn't need 12. help umpiring. No. And I, th I think um, I take care of that. he's Please one play. of the best umpires in the world, actually. Not just in Denmark. Yeah. 14, 12. Hey. English complaining that Praveen Jordan was taking too long to serve. I think there is a rule about undue delay on the serve. There is. I can tell you in the Danish league, they've been enforcing it uh, much more consequent than uh, we're seeing it here. But I think also Praveen Jordan, he doesn't want to get ready too early and wait for Marcus Ellis to get ready, standing no. with his hand up. That's a great return by Octavianti. Also, this racket action that uh, makes sure you get the right ankle on the uh, attack. Ankle is everything here. Ankle is prioritized over power. If you can both have ankle and power, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's a oh. great serve from up to the ante. 16, 13. Oh, that's a good angle to see the serve from. Fantastic. What a shot from off to the ante. Yes. Look at that. That's just perfection. And that's something that sort of uh, separates good female mixed doubles players from the rest of them. Um, the, that you can play from well below the tape. You have possibilities. Um, and, and uh, that's definitely one of the uh, assets of uh, Octavianti. Oh, behind the back. Oh, Somebody's really. landed in. Oh, he's challenging. He Marcus won't win that challenge, I don't think. In. Mind you, he's in a much better place to see than we are. Yeah. yeah. We have a bird's eye view of the court. Now, Lauren Smith is exchanging words with the umpire. I don't think they should waste energy. No, I don't think so Getting either. involved in that. That was out. Well, well, well. I'm surprised at that. Well, that's a great challenge. Service over. 14, 17. Yeah, that keeps them in the... The first game here, 18-13, that would have been um, yeah. very, very difficult. And on the other hand, 
Whilst they're good at scoring quick points up to the ante and Jordan, they can also commit some errors. Oh, yeah, that's another challenge. Marcus Ellis challenges called out. They've still got two challenges left, haven't yeah, they? They yeah. have. That's a definitely worth a challenge. Well, I saw that as wide, but then I saw the last one as in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm notoriously bad on those. Always getting proved wrong by Hawkeye. But I thought that was the wrong side of the centre line. Maybe Hawkeye are trying to figure out which side of the line it should be. And that's out. Yeah. All right, I was right for once. Challenge. I'll just make a little note here in my calendar. <laughs> One challenge remaining. Cheeky. Yeah. Sets over 18 14. Play. <laughs> That's a good save. 19, 14. Ever since they were leading 9 5, those quick points that you pointed out yeah. at the time and they've just gone off the boil a little haven't they the english pair mind you i think jordan and octa the ante have raised their game as well it's a combination of the two things and again in the service situation the one who gets the initiative Come here. stay away stay away stay, yeah stay away yeah marcus marcus should stay away i want you to speed up you delay the game yeah, and quite right, good umpiring. 19, 14. Two points away, though, so, from the Ladies. opening game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to get a yellow card. Oh, no, I'm not sure that's right. No, I think that's a bit harsh. Yes, I think so too, because he was actually just doing what the umpire but told him to do. Exactly. Uh, and it was Lauren Smith who wasn't ready, so exactly. he, he exactly. took advantage of what he was being told to do. So I, I think it's harsh to fold in him, because you're basically yeah. folding him on trying to read in his mind and says that he did that on purpose. Yeah. That's a terrific smash. What a reply. Yeah. Because you, you could also fault Ellis and, and Smith for being too, taking too long to get ready. Yeah. Game point opportunities. Five of them for the number five seeds, Jordan and Octaviante. Opening game, 21-15 to Praveen Jordan and Melati Daiba Octavianti. 21 minutes for the opening game. Well, the English pair have come from behind in their quarter final. They can't be clean between three match points down to battle their way through, having lost the first. If you are going to play that one side, go for that now. Let her take the back. So decide beforehand, we're going to play to really go for it. Okay, because the whole challenge is getting out of this first four. You have hardly lost a rally when we've got into five plus shots. But that is the biggest challenge for us. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's that clarity when we do get past the first four of just like then playing the rally. Because I think we're a bit, we get past the first four and it's like, yeah, and then it's like a bit rushed. It's like, all right, build, build, find a, find a. Yeah. When he's returning, 
pillow serving. He does this one every time, so yeah. we've just got to go for this. He hasn't played a deep ball in return to go for the loop. He's playing always past you with this sort of shot. Sometimes called back his side, maybe. I don't know. 20 seconds. Yeah, like yeah. Get there the early. Yeah. 20 okay. seconds. Keep, keep the variety across him. Yeah. No sir. Same with her. A few more low ones to Irving. Second game. Well, I don't know when he picked that up, Steen, but there was certainly some talk about when you get into the rallies, yeah. you're winning all of them. Game. But the problem is getting into the rallies. Yes. yes. I mean, it means that you're not behind Play. after four or five shots. If you're below the tape after there, then you can play a rally, but you probably lose it. So you have to get past these four or five shots. First three or four shots, perhaps. Hey! It's great that he stays there. Marcus Ellis puts a lot of uh, pressure on uh, Jordan to play a perfect shot. From Praveen Jordan. It's not only the technicality of it, it's the awareness to know that's where the gap was. Look at that. It's that's fantastic. brilliant. Playing the most difficult shots. All the three other corners were easier. that smash Two. and Lauren Smith to deal One. with he can't lift there Marcus Ellis he's doing it but it's a no-win situation rather take the chances straight and cross but replies just right One. That was something else that Anthony Clark and Peter Jeffrey were saying about uh, taking a chance moving forward yeah yeah for Marcus Marcus Ellis Hit yeah. from Lauren Smith. A little towel down now is uh, needed for the English side Five. because uh, Provin Jordan and uh, Octavianti, they're simply too good at the moment. Turning times for the home players. Easy. Very well played, isn't it? Yes. Seven. That's a lovely shot from Octaviante. Just that little yeah. 
push in a downward direction. And again, Ellis lifts and hopes for the best, but the result is the same. Perrine Jordan kills it. That's, that's where they still can develop uh, quite a bit, in my opinion, Ellis and uh, Smith. And the play uh, from below the tape. threat with his yeah, smash so, so you have to go back a little bit you have to go back on Two. your defense he leaps in the air opens his shoulders as if he's going to play a smash and then just checks that shot at the last moment it's great disguise that's wide to me, Steen, as if the English pair are running out of Three. ideas tactically. Yes. I agree. So the, um, the threat from the big smash of Praveen Jordan is putting too much pressure on the, um, the mixed doubles uh, flat game, so to speak. Well, it's called good. Praveen Jordan is challenging. But I, I think they couldn't challenge because they just uh, lost one. And they want to keep the challenge up their Haven't sleeves. they lost one challenge? They've lost Five. one challenge, but... Yeah, I think they want to keep it in, in case yeah. they need it. Later on. They fought back yesterday, Ellis and uh, Smith. So it's a six point advantage at the mid game interval. Or Jordan and not to the empty. Just making us play a negative return in a way. You've got to be so great, you're going to have to go for your net cause. You're going to have to get on the. I've gone for net cause, I've gone yeah. the bottom now. But, well, what else can you do? Yeah? You just got to get, if you play it to the side, you've got to be so far up, right, that you're literally exposing your rear court. At the minute, it's the only way, isn't it? 20 yeah. seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah? And we've got to take some chances. 
It's got to take your chances. Go for the neck quarter yeah. on the return of serve. And, Did and you hear what Lauren said? No, but I heard his reply. I loved it. What else are you going to do? Exactly. Well, she said, well, I tried going for the neck board and it went in the bottom of the net. Yeah. And he said, well, you, what else are you going to yeah, try? You've got to try it again. You've got to try. Which reinforces and in, says that we were right, that they're running out of ideas. Yeah. That they know that they have to play the perfect shot, otherwise and, 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 yes. they're in big trouble. They are, and, and I mean, the problem is also right. that it's not where they have the strongest skills around the net court, uh, around the net court mid-game interval and so on. I mean, it's strong, but but this is the semi-final in the Super 1000. Yeah. And, and Praveen Jordan is, is better at that. Milati is more uh, sort of focused on she knows exactly what to do or that's a bit of an exaggeration perhaps but it looks like she knows exactly what to do on every shot she makes she's she's in no doubt about okay what is my role here what is it uh, my task is yeah and th that's fantastic when when you have that feeling good flick very good flick from Praveen Jordan Indonesian fans in fine voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You saw that one coming. Six thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Seven thirteen. That's a great serve. Played very well. Yeah, has super seven. serve return yeah. as well. Yeah. He knows exactly what's going to come, and that's where he is. If, if he plays it any other place on the court, I don't think he can take it. She did. <laughs> Almost took down the net. <laughs> exactly. Nine fourteen. by Octaviante. Sometimes yeah. a situation like that, Ten, a missed 14. opportunity like that, can actually change the whole momentum of a match. So he suggests that um, Ellison Smith target her a little bit more at the net and see if they can uh, yeah, shake maybe. her. Straight points for the English pair. Well 
well played. Well, well, well. Twelve fourteen. Let's try another one and see if you can put pressure on it. Oh, the cylinder shot from up to the empty. 15-12. Well, that had been a run of five straight points, and it has played the English pair back into this semi-final. Yeah, and that's a great thing also for the audience here in uh, Arena Birmingham, yeah. coming to support the, the home players. She was distracted by it rather than. I think, I think so too. Yeah. So what's going on? She's running off the court. I wondered why Jordan had played that clear. Yeah. It was obviously to give his partner time to run off. 16, 12. Yeah, he, he looks, clears. Oh, they changed rackets. They changed rackets. It was his racket that was gone. Praveen <laughs> Jordan changed rackets with his partner. Give me your racket, I'll play on with your racket. You go and get another one. Well, we have seen that before. But not from this pair. Well, that was uh, Tang Ken Ming and... Uh, I think... Chin. That's right. It's working well for Ellison language. There's language again. What's he doing in my match here? Ellison Smith playing back at the backhand side of the Indonesians. That's well so taken by Praveen Jordan. He was off balance when he played the return of that flick serve. Yeah, I, I still like it. Once in a while he will um, kill it. I, I just think it's a good thing to put pressure on him from the beginning because they, most of the time they have no advantage serving short. Been no. returning really well, so flicking him even more might take his focus off the low serve so that you can use them again uh, later on. Oh. Yeah, fast and furious. She's done well. I'll tell you, Auntie, at the net. Good serve from off to the ante. That is perfect. Skim the net. Yeah, that's a really good service. I, I actually had the uh, thought earlier that some of her services might have been short, but um, here we got the proof that they probably weren't. Two points away from a place in the final. That was too high. Yeah. <laughs>
They did come back from a big deficit in um, the previous match in uh, Korea Open. Ellison Smith had a couple of game points in each of the two games that they ended up losing. Three in one game, I think. Yeah. Oh, that a set play, serve out wide. And Lauren Smith 19. looking for the straight reply. Yeah. Took it beautifully. And he had to respect the uh, the flick possibility again, even though he uh, he killed the last one. Two points, the deficit. A cool head is up to the ante. And now it's three match point opportunities to Praveen Jordan and up to the ante. Well, the English pair was 17 20 down in the second game of their quarter final, having lost the first, and they still won the match. They have to believe. Oof, to, to leave that. That goes down as a second service error from. Jordan. And this is a critical serve now because yeah. I don't believe Praveen Jordan thinks Lauren Smith is um, having the guts to flick again, so I think he'll go on the short. Excellent play by Ellis. once again have the English pair of Ellis and Smith. They did it in their quarter-final. And they closed out their quarter-final second game on a run of five straight points. Can they do it again today in the semi-final? Extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Opportunity is history about to repeat itself. And Ellis has played so much better on those mid court shots instead of just lifting, he's played as flat as he could. Game point, good flick. So a courageous net shot from Praveen Jordan. Oof, and he slipped. 21 all. That midcourt shot is playing much, much better. He's taking it early. 21. So now it's a second game point opportunity for Ellis and Smith. Now I would go for the flat figure. Down the middle? Uh, no, not necessarily, just directly at um, the head of the uh, right shoulder. Yes. He went down the middle, and they have come back from the brink. They have saved three match points and taken the second game, 23-21. And the fans here are going to be treated to a third and deciding game. Second game, won by Marcus Ellis and Lawrence Smith, 23-21. Perfect. You know we've got to get on those returns, and you'll be right up there. Okay. Third and 
Beautiful threat. Now she is playing better than him. Take him on in that mid. Get in there and hit hard. Watch him snapping out the back as well. Yeah. Because every time you've gone hard, he's hit it too hard out. You're stressing him because you're giving him no time because you're so high up there. So when you force it, he hasn't got any time to think. He just reacts and he's out the back. And he's made like them ones because he's like, can see him moving. Yeah, you're standing on the front line. You have to be up there. Praising Marcus Ellis for stepping up the court and taking the mid-court shots early. Final game. Well, when you think that the English pair were eight points Brevin. adrift at one stage at 5.13 down. Brevin. Well, what an incredible comeback. Yeah, they win 22-13 from down 8-1. That's fantastic, and I, this is one of the situations where we Not have all. earlier seen that uh, Praveen Jordan can get really, really shaky and be uh, yeah. an error machine, so to speak. Yeah, I can get nervous. But it uh, requires Ellison Smith to put pressure on the Indonesians. They thought they'd wanted when he left that one uh, yeah. in his backhand side, um, Praveen Jordan in the second game. But it was miles in. Yeah. They might have done it earlier in the match, but I haven't noticed it. One, two. Excellent play. Just a Three, little too long, one. the um, third shot from Lauren Smith. Smash there, Jordan. One. Just relying on pace of shot to beat yeah. his opponents. She was told she had to go for everything at the front of the court. Five, yeah. two. 
And I mean, if Mark Zellers plays Octavianti, then Lauren Smith has to cover direct opposite because, I mean, force her to make the difficult shots. Good lift. Yeah, well, that drop shot was halfway down the net. Yeah, that's well worked by the Indonesians. But they're getting smashes from Praveen Jordan, Six, they're getting them back, they're three. making the Indonesians work. One, sometimes two extra shots to win it, that could be uh, crucial towards the end of uh, this third and decisive game. If you can uh, give the Indonesians the impression that they have to hit it a little bit sharper, it might be uh, something that can provoke errors later on. Oh, power of that smash. Seven. Good pace of shot. Oh, well, it was good placement too in that it Marcus Ellis was trying to defend Match. backhand, but it was really down his forehand side. But but again a little bit too much lifting to my taste uh, compared to the last part of the uh, Second game, trying to play it back flat. Eight, three. That's well left. She was absolutely waiting for the cross court on there. And that's brilliant done because just a few Four, rallies eight. ago she played the same shot and covered the straight one. Yeah. So brilliant done to anticipate that Praveen Jordan would um, make a different shot than last time. Yeah, that's clever return of serve. Good work from Octaviante at the front of yeah. the court. I think she's Ten. been brilliant Four. throughout this match, except for that sitter she missed yes. at 14 10. Yeah. Clever. Yeah, there she is again. Changes. Right place at the right time, playing the right sort of shot to break down the defence of her opponents. Seven-point advantage to the number five seeds from Indonesia here in this deciding game. Three minutes shy of the hour mark of the semi-final. Even risk a little bit of an underdrive to him and hustle up. To hit out, see if you can make those mistakes. Go for it, mate. We've got nothing to lose now, okay? Just like we did at the end of that second, but nothing to Wait, lose. It's been so passive. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah, if it's going to take them off. Come on, sir. Two inches. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Two inches. Go for it. We've got nothing to lose. On court, please. Well, they were eight points adrift at one stage in the second game, and they came back to win it. There are only seven yes. points adrift here. 11-4. Play. Oh, 
difficult part is that they've got to start scoring immediately here. 11, 4, play. Jordan is a little nervous whether he can, can serve or he can ah! risk a red card. <laughs> But again, a very good service that put the Indonesians under Six, pressure. 11. Crikey, that was going well. That could have landed well out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now the call from Praveen so Jordan to his partner to leave 12, it. Six. Turn of serve error as well. Six. That's two cheap points for the Indonesians. Much to the delight of the Indonesian fans here. Oh. That could be costly. Six. thinking during the rally that the English pair needed to slow it down a little. Yeah. All got very fast six. and furious, which I think suits Praveen Jordan very well. I think he's great at the fast game. What's the longest rally we've had in this match, Jill? No, I'm not sure. No. They haven't been particularly long. This, this could definitely be one of those. It's a good sight to see if you're Alyssa Smith looking out at the coaches and they look like they definitely believe that this can be done. Yeah. Now, did she leave that or couldn't she reach it? Did she think 16, that was going to go wide? Seven. I'm not sure. So that, she, yeah. She hesitated. Yeah, she thought that was going to go wide, she, maybe. She changed her mind twice. Yeah. Oh, that's a, a wild one there from up to the ante. Almost landed on the blue carpet. <laughs> Just since they needed a little bit of a run there, the English yeah. pair, if they were going to get back into this. I think it's going to be too difficult now. Yeah. You've got to give credit to the Indonesians, though, haven't you? Because having had three match points yeah. in that second game to come out the way they've 
they've come out for this deciding game. And that, that's magnificent. It's so easy yeah. to start feeling sorry for yourself there. Yeah, exactly. Showed great character. I know they haven't won it yet, but they're only three points away from the final. Look at that shot from Jordan. Brilliant. Yeah, well, that also means we have to say that they were. Well, they have clearly been the better pair, the Indonesians, in, in this match here. It, that was a great um, fight back in the second game and really giving the audience value for money here and also ending this for them good tournament on a high note instead of uh, it, it had been a little bit tame with the uh, straight games, 21, 15, 21, 12 or something like that. Yeah. Well, they've done themselves so proud. Uh... Fantastic. Maybe they've maybe they've earned themselves a ticket to um, Tokyo in this tournament. Yeah, I suspect they probably have. It's not over yet, but not probable that they can win from here. That's well played. Yeah. Opportunity for Ellis. Praveen Jordan, two points away from a second All England final. For his partner, it would be a first. Opportunities. Sips over 20 match points. 10. A fourth match point opportunity in total for the Indonesians. service error I think of the match match point number five for the Indonesians and this time the number five seeds convert 21 15 21 23 21 11 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and seven minutes. The English dream is over, uh, but Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith have done themselves proud this week and done English badminton proud. But the wait goes on until home players a feature in the All England finals once more. It's already been 13 years. But there is confirmation of the score. Praveen Jordan and Melati Diver, Octavianti. 21-15, 21-23, 21-11 in the deciding game in an hour and seven minutes. So they will play against the number three seeds tomorrow. Pulavara Nukro and Teirak Tanachai. That should be a tremendous mixed doubles final. 